Here is the D flip-flop circuit that I modified from the website Circuit Exchange International. I wanted two LEDs so you could see that when one Q is on, one not Q is off and vice versa. And this works very well, it's very stable. When I push the button, or in this case I'm going to use a wire to touch ground, it'll flip back and forth and uh, since I'm not using a nice button, the wire bounces a little bit and you can see that it, it seems to be erratic, but that's just because of using a wire. Now what I want to do is I want to clock this flip-flop using this 555 timer circuit. On the left of the 555 timer, you'll notice that I didn't label the values of the resistor or capacitors, and that's because I haven't made up my mind as to exactly what I'm going to use yet. It's a RC time constant. So it depends on you know how fast or slow you want the timer to run. Now the output of this 555 timer is at pin 3 and it will put out a positive pulse. Well the flip-flop circuit needs a ground so I can't wire the two together and expect it to work. Of course it won't work. So I have got to change the output of the 555 timer some way that positive pulse to a short to ground for the flip-flop circuit. Well, as it turns out, this really isn't too hard to do. What I came up with was this. I just added a NPN transistor, and when the positive pulse comes out of the 555 timer, that turns on the NPN transistor, which shorts to ground, clocking the D flip-flop circuit. The 555 timer is now running and I'm hooking the output to the base of the transistor and you can see that this setup does clock this D flip-flop very nicely. And with a circuit like this of course there is no bounce, so it's very stable. Thanks for watching.